Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, this is going to be a weird video because there's going to be a lot of topics in the one, but I kind of feel like it's all something that's together. And some people might disagree with me on this, but I think uh, maybe we should talk about it a little bit. So right now on X and pretty much every uh, forum, Reddit posts, or YouTube video, you're going to see um, when it has to do with gaming anyways. You're going to see people really pissed off when it comes to the state of the Silent Hill 2 remake. Now, Silent Hill 2 is probably one of the greatest survival horror games ever made, uh, bar none. It's a great game. It's a great game. And the bad thing is, I didn't play it until about four years ago, and the version I played was not the best version to play, and that was the Xbox 360 uh, HD collection, which I played number two and three, but I played Silent Hill 1 back when I was in high school. I'm almost 40. I'm 37 years old, so it's been a long time. And I remember playing the original Silent Hill, and it scared the shit out of me. I loved it. Um, it was genuinely way different than, say, Resident Evil or something like that, which Silent Hill originally was a answer to Capcom's Resident Evil. And I think it did really good. I think the Silent Hill, like the first three games, um, you know, after I've played them, I think they do a better job at psychological horror and unease and the Resident Evil games. Resident Evil games does have like a lot of situations where like you run out of bullets, you got to run from the enemies, there's some jump scares here and there. And so it's really gruesome enemies, but Silent Hill had some really gruesome enemies uh, for the most part. It's like all, all of it was being like manifested from the person, like the main person you're controlling um, coming from their head pretty much. So that's where Pyramid Head comes in and uh, for some odd reason, like every like Silent Hill movie comes out where all Silent Hill merchandise has Pyramid Head, which basically Pyramid was a manifestation of the main character of Silent Hill 2. And I don't know why they keep using that. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I think, I think uh, Silent Hill did a really good job with uh, psychological horror. Anyways, a lot of people are pissed off right now with the Silent Hill 2 remake. They've been pissed off about it since the very first Silent Hill uh, transmission, which was about a year ago, when they shown off Silent Hill 2 remake for the first time. A lot of people hated the way the characters looked. They hated the combat. They hated everything about it. And um, I think things changed. I kind of looked at it the first time. I was like, ah, maybe. And, you know, I watched the combat trailer. I was like, yeah. Okay, then I watched the newest trailer. I'm I'm actually fine with it. I, I'm perfectly fine with it. I think the big discourse right now is there's a few things. A lot of people are pissed off that um, <laughs> the character changes, especially like they're trying to take a look at the character models and they're like, DEI, 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 which, you know, that is the case. Um, I think there's a, uh, a consulting company, I think it was called High Impact, that's working with um, Konami with this, which they're another like sweet baby style um, company, which I, honestly, I don't care. I, I, I do like my video games, but I don't want my video games and my movies to preach at me. I want to be able to escape um, the whole uh, zeitgeist when it comes to culture wars and the whole political movement. I hate it. I really don't like it. Like, I just want to enjoy my content and be a gamer. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so bad. I, I think it's between that and the uh, console or Soul War guys, like the uh, Dreamcast guy. Um, you know, those people's like, oh, the PlayStation's better. We got Silent Hill remake, which is eventually going to be multi platform, which I don't really care. But I think that stuff is cringe. All the thing I say is play the game and enjoy the game. But there is a case where a lot of these companies are pushing DEI on stuff that doesn't need to be done. And like I said, you might disagree with me. You're probably going to call me a bigot, and that's okay too, but I really don't care. Um, I know where I stand on things, and I just want to play games. That's all I want to do. I don't care. Like I think the character models look fine in the new Silent Hill. Some of them are kind of like a, this uncanny valley type thing where you just look at them, and you're just like, there's something weird something definitely weird with these people like it looks strange but i'm kind of fine with that. i'm actually excited to see where they take the game um another thing people's like the combat looks really stiff and it does it does look a little bit stiff 
Um, I think the latest trailer that came out on the latest Silent Hill transmission was a whole lot better than what was shown before. Um, it seems like they cleaned it up a little bit. They actually cleaned up a little bit, um, too, with some of the other characters. But they did show off uh, some of the other characters. And I forget their names. I'm sorry. I'm not, like, the Silent Hill expert. I probably shouldn't be even talking about it. But there's somebody who played the original game on the the worst possible version to play it on. Um, I still feel like I have some input on it. Because um, I love horror games. And Silent Hill was part of my thing. I actually have a Silent Hill tattoo big big fat arm big old fatty arm tattoo <laughs> and um you know i liked the movie I, I hated the second movie and i'm actually excited for the uh new movie because the same guy that directed the first movie is directing the new movie and we can forget the piece of show the movie that revelations was but i don't really see a problem with the way the characters look i think they all kind of look broken and maybe that's too on the nose for some people but some people are just like well she's fat um they took away the skin they they made her not as sexy um and i'm not going to go in and dive into the g4 thing when you're saying i'm sorry that video character's not easy on the eyes for you or they're not bangable as uh the chick from stellar blade not, not going there i'm just saying it doesn't like that game there's not really a big thing on sex appeal except for like Maybe one of the characters um, that's supposed to be the dude's kind of looks like her wife. God, I wish I remember their names. This is fucking stupid. Uh, I'm going to get annihilated. I'm going to get annihilated here. But I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. I think um, Bloober Team, like I think a lot of people have a little bit of reservations on Bloober Team due to their past work, which I've played all their games except for Observer and Layers of Fear 2. Um, I like Blair Witch. I like the medium. Uh, the medium, for what it was, was a decent game. It had some really cool gimmicks, um, and it had some uh, uneasiness about it. And it did look, it felt like Silent Hill to me. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm not the ex. I was more of a Resident Evil guy than I was Silent Hill. But I did play the first game, and I recently, four years ago, played two and three. Um, but a lot of people are just bitching, like just the bitch. It seems like any time there's something shown about this game, somebody gets completely pissed off. They're like, "Oh, this fucking sucks. It's terrible. This it doesn't look the same. It's it, it's not made for me." And I beg to differ. I think it looks great. I mean, uh, we gave Resident Evil Two a chance. We gave Resident Evil. Well, Resident Evil 3 was fucking terrible. I think the biggest one was Resident Evil 4, which I think a lot of people felt better when Resident Evil 2 Remake came out. Then they said it was making Resident Evil 4, which is probably one of the greatest games ever made. Then Resident Evil 4 Remake came out, and they're like, hey, it's fucking great. Um, but I think a lot of people do have reservations on some of their favorite games being remade. And I guess that's no problem, but I also think that's gatekeeping, which is kind of stupid. It's really stupid to me, like... Um, you know, back in the day, like I used to be like that when it came to my video games, cause I was like, I was an Xbox guy and I still am, but I play on all the systems, like every system I play games on all the systems because I look at, it, I'm like, I'm not really caring about which, you know, multi-billion dollar companies dick is bigger than the other. I don't care about that. Like, I just want to play a good video game. I am tired of the politics being pushed into video games. I am tired of this switch to live service video games. I do want, you know, good single player games that doesn't have microtransactions and has a decent story that I can play through and remember 10 years from now. And I think that's what a lot of people are thinking. Like People still remember the first time they played Silent Hill 2. Um, people remember the first time they played Resident Evil. I remember to this day, I played Resident Evil 2 when it came out when I was in middle school and it scared the shit out of me. I could not play that game until I was in high school. And then I loved them. I love them. Like I was scared to death of those games. And Silent Hill, the original Silent Hill, when I played it, I had nightmares for weeks. Um, it's a little outdated now, but just the themes and the unease of the games themselves, like um, it really does mess with you on a psychological level. And that's kind of how I hope that Bloober Team does with the silent hill 2 remake because they are actually really good at psychological horror like uh playing blair witch layers of fear uh, the medium they i think they do a good job in that and i do think a lot of people are you know they have reservations against konami which 
let's face it, Konami is um, a shitty company that basically turned their IPs into pachinko machines, um, which is stupid. It's fucking stupid. I hated it. They ruined Metal Gear by making Metal Gear survive, and I think a lot of people were pissed off. Um, especially, like, I think a lot of people were pissed off about um, Silent Hill, um, the long, short message. Uh, I liked it. I, I was fine with it. I'm, me, as somebody with, like, a mental health advocate, I thought it was pretty good. I think, um, you know, I think it was too on the nose. Um, it wasn't perfect by any means, but as for what it was, it was solid. Um, I think a lot of people are taking offense to that, but just they just remember the old games and they don't want to see change. And I think change is good for the gaming industry as long as it's organic and not a way to drain every fucking dollar out of your wallet or all of your time. I don't want video games to be a chore like the live service games. You know, Konami could have did that. They could be like, hey, we're going to turn Silent Hill 2 into a live service looter shooter. <laughs> with season passes and battle passes and all this shit. I know they did with the, what was it, the transmission, Silent Hill transmission or whatever. It's like that mobile game where they did episodes every week and you had to pay for uh, cosmetics and one was like a trauma sticker like there was literally selling a microtransaction for a sticker that says trauma and they made it look so ha awesome and happy like trauma yay awesome cool i just say fuck you please go away um I i'm kind of hoping they will take the transmission game itself and compile it into maybe an actual standalone thing because i do want to see it maybe sell it for like 20 bucks I give or take just to see how it plays out. I'd probably buy it at that case, but a lot of people were kind of pissed off because it's really not as good as we thought. We were thinking like Silent Hill's coming back. Konami's changing their ways. There's going to be a new Konami. There's going to be a great Silent Hill uh, game. And they, they are pushing really heavy with the Silent Hill stuff. All kinds of products coming out. They got the products, the games, the movies, the soundtracks, uh, the dildos. They have it all. Um, <laughs> but it's crazy. It's crazy. So, so many people are pissed off about the uh, about the trailers. Um, I here's what I say. It's like just wait until the game comes out, then play the game, or you know watch the game. I know a lot of people like, especially the ones that are like uh, advocating DEI stuff. These people aren't really playing the video games to begin with. They just want to push some kind of narrative out there. Uh, onto everybody, which I think that's stupid. Like I said, I have no problem with any of those things, like any of the groups and stuff. I just want my stuff. I just want stuff that I like, like video games. It's supposed to be in a way to escape. It's not meant to be a way to be preached at. Like I, that's how I see it. I, I want to play a game because I love video games. I don't want to play a game to make it feel like a chore and I don't want to play a game that preaches at me I just want to play a good video game with a good story and good combat but I can remember 10 years down the road and that's what I hope for Silent Hill 2 remake now it could be wrong it could be fucking terrible but I think Blooper Team may do a good job at it so I'll talk to you guys later see you soon